oh my gosh, it is so annoying when you're in class, let's just say you're in a French lesson or something, but your teacher asks everyone a question, like, who knows the answer to this, blah, 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 like they normally do. So you don't put your hand up because you don't know the answer. And they're like, hmm, no, um, Samantha, I've already picked you. Sorry, I know you already know the answer, Erin. You look around and there's like you and three other people that don't have their hands up. And then she like goes ahead and picks you. She's like, go on, you can tell me the answer. I haven't heard from you today. Maybe that's because I don't know any of these questions you're asking me. It's like, I swear sometimes they just get paid to annoy you. Also, another thing is that it's super embarrassing. You'll just look at them and be like, I don't know, sorry. Like in a really, really quiet voice. And everyone will just stare at you. It's like, if I knew the answer, I would put my hand up. Tell me why people in my class are so energetic at like 8am in the morning. Okay, they're all laughing, having fun, whilst I look like an ugly rat. They're looking fresh as a daisy, just come out the freaking shower. And I look like, I don't know, I haven't slept in months. I also get cranky in the mornings because they, stupid school and my alarm interrupted my lovely dream with shrek oh. it was halloween one year and we were handing out candy to the little undeserving bastard shits that knocked on our door this one fat ginger bitch knocked on the door and of course she chose the biggest candy bar in the bucket and she said she wants another one i said listen here you tubby orange bitch you get one fucking candy bar you don't look like you need another one she grabbed another candy bar from the bucket and started laughing at me and i said to her if you weren't in a costume i would think you were the grand pumpkin you giant orange bitch she took her shoe off and threw it at my face and that's when i lunged at her and tackled her off the balcony i started pulling at her orange haystack hair and she started screaming for her dad her dad dragged me off the little ginger bitch and he yelled at me saying who the hell beats up a seven year old i said me you old twat and i took her entire bucket of candy and walked inside the cops came over and i started fake crying saying she attacked me first and i was defending myself and my dog was agreeing and defending me the police went to the tubby ginger fox house and shot it up that's what you get for messing with me you expanded ed sheeran looking bitch one time i was at my grandma's because she was helping me with the school bake sale she was asking me if i had any ideas on what to make and i thought it would be funny to prank her i said make wop and she said what i said it stands for warm apple pies and her nipples hardened in joy she began whipping up a batch of apple pies like her life depended on it, and I went and sat in my room. I came back out an hour later and saw she had a whole tray of apple pies and she wrote WAP all over them, and she made WAP banners. I told her it was just a joke and it's not what she thinks it means, and she slapped me across the face and told me not to get involved. She set up her spot at my school's bake sale and started screaming come eat my WAP kids, please come here and try my delicious warm WAP. WAP 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 Everyone started laughing at her but at the end of the day she racked up the most sales out of all the soccer moms there. She later spray painted WAP on her old creepy van and she now drives around the neighborhood screaming come up to my van and try my WAP to innocent children playing in their front yards. Okay so one day I had a test and I knew I would pass it. There was this really dumb kid named Suck Olivia and I thought she would cheat and look at my paper so I asked Mr. Milker if I could move and that bitch said no. So I had nearly finished the test I had like two questions left and then I realized that the monkey looking stupid bitch was copying my answer so I let out the most soggy foggy rocky moppy. Funky stunky gunky mushy rushy pushy tushy cushy sushy. Powerful shit. All the windows shattered and the whole school started shaking. It was surreal. The fire alarm went off and we all evacuated. We were all lined up and I had to tell everyone that it was my shit. Suck Olivia apologized and said she wouldn't look at my paper ever again. Anyways I have bowel cancer. Cholera, the Spanish flu, and coronavirus. Funniest 911 calls. One, what is your emergency? Uh. How can I help you? Good. Is there is there a grown up there I can talk to? I'm coming. I need to tell you something. Okay, what is your name? Lene. Oh, Lene? What do you want to tell me, Lene? We went to Disney on Ice. You went to Disney on Ice? Yes. Okay, can I talk to your mommy or your daddy? No, they're busy. I know they're busy, but I need to talk to one of them, please. No. I'm, I'm busy, too. I'm going to play a game, so I just wanted to tell you something, but bye. I cannot touch the color pink. Are uh, not this stage. It's legit so annoying. You did not see that. I did not just fall. This stage is still really bad, Lou. Anyways, please no pink. Yes, is brown stage. Speed. Okay, yeah, this stage is really long. Okay, and really love this stage.
Shout what is the best piece of advice you've ever received. Comment answers. Oh no, I saw pink. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to stop the video soon. If you made it to the end of the video, comment. Bye, you guys. Sub to my e link in bio. I cannot touch the color purple. Are not this stage. It takes really long. But I mean, at least it's not purple. Shout what is the most useless talent you have. Comment your answers. Yeses. Oh my God! I literally love this stage. It's so fun and short. Okay, no purple pleases. See, I like this stage, but it's a bit too long. You'll remember to sub dot to my YouTube link in bio. Comment more colors. I should stop at. We actually might win this round. I've actually never had this stage. I guess it's okay. First, I really didn't know how to do it. Lol. Okay, there are two more stages to go. I honestly like this stage, mostly because it's short and easy. If you're seeing this, comment. Bye, guys. One day, I was at McDonald's. I decided to order a chocolate milkshake. Bad idea, by the way. I was drinking my milkshake when all of a sudden I needed to fart, but it was more than a fart. I shouted all over the seat, and my family, everyone started staring and laughing at me because I let out the most sloppy, ploppy, goggy, foggy, smelly, pig's belly, slimy jelly shit ever. I could have been mistaken for a rocket because my shit was making me fly up in the air. I saw someone recording me, and I was like. Oh hell no, you stinky rat! Very fat, fishy fanny. I grabbed their Dora flip phone out of their hand and said, "Never do that to me again, you stupid bitch." I didn't even care that. When I was younger, there was a girl I knew who lived in our neighborhood. None of the kids liked her because they claimed that she stank and acted weird. When they talked about her, I kind of felt bad, so I became friends with her. Yeah, of course I got the "Why do you hang out with her?" But she really wasn't all that bad. But her scent, they were kind of right about that. One day, she invites me over to her house, and she was very excited because she told me I was the first person to ever come over, and I felt so honored. So I went, but when I went into her house, it smelled very bad, almost nauseating. But I didn't say anything because I didn't want to be rude. She had a lot of uncles that lived with her family. Honestly, it was like four to five families in one house, to be honest. But she first introduced me to her stepmom. I said hi to her, but she just stared at me in disgust. Then we went to her room to play. As it got later, I told her I needed to go home, but she begged me to stay longer because she was scared. I told her I'd come tomorrow, and she just starts crying. She runs into her bed and falls into her sheets, which lifted her skirt. There were bruises all over her thighs. Let me know if y'all want a part two. One day when I was packing my lunch, my grandpa asked me what I was eating, so I told him I was gonna eat a sandwich, apples, and takis. He asked what takis were, and I said they were spicy chips. He asked to try one, but my grandma told me that if I gave him a taki, I would regret it. I gave him one anyway. When he bit the taki, he jumped 65 feet in the air, screaming. He was asking for milk, and we gave him milk, but we forgot he was also lactose intolerant. While he was drinking the milk, he ran out of the room and tripped on our pet pussy. He started farting, and it sounded like we lived next to NASA when a rocket is about to launch. He let out the longest sloppy, gloppy, bloppy, moppy, noppy, copy, loppy, floppy, sloppy. When he fell, I heard his back crackle, mit frackle, tackle. His back cracked, the cat attacked. Roaches get a track, he broke his back, his shit turned abstract, he fell on the floor and couldn't get up no more, he was very sore, he looked like a dead boar. The pussy went bonker, yonker, plonker, knocker, conkers. We rushed him to the hospital and found out he died from a ruptured rib cage and explosive diarrhea. We also found out he had lymphedema type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes, bowel cancer, the bubonic plague, the coronavirus, the Spanish flu, tuberculosis, malaria, AIDS, shitworm, measles, and polio. One day I was getting ready for school because it was picture day. I had just got new makeup from Easter. I put my foundation on and I thought I looked cute even though the foundation shade made me look sunburnt and the eyeshadow was dark orange. Not a good look. I also wore this ugly musty dress. It was green on the top and the sleeves had brown ruffles. I thought I looked so cool so I went to school. I am still mad at my parents for sending me to school in that. Everyone stared at me while I walked into class, even my teacher. She was telling us to go down to get our pictures taken by our last names and I went in the beginning since my last name starts with C I went down and then my stomach started to hurt. I ate McDonald's for breakfast because my parents were too lazy to make breakfast. I honestly started to pray to Whitney Houston that I wouldn't chart. I held my hands to my ass and walked to the photo booth. My stomach started to rumble, grumble, bumble, trumble, numbler, mumble, zumble, lumble. I tried act natural so I removed my hands from my ass and got ready to take my picture. While I was standing there I did the most soggy doggy, sounded froggy, came out cloggy, looked loggy, made the room foggy, very soggy. I pulled a Nessa Barrett. It made the school building shake so much to the point people thought there was a level 5 tornado. I shat so much that it covered the camera right when they took the photo. When they realized it was my ass and not a tornado, I was immediately rushed to the emergency room and they diagnosed me with the one and only bowel cancer. This is a message from my mom so if you're not her, please keep scrolling. I'm kidding. I know you're probably not gonna scroll but oh well. Hi, Mum. 
How's it going? How's it hanging? Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Um. You know, the other day when you told me that I was addicted to my phone, and that oh, you need to get out more and stop going on TikTok so much. You're gonna get addicted. Well, don't think I don't see you with your Facebook and your Instagram, seeing what Sheila and Jim have been doing over the weekend. Don't think I don't see that. You know, when you come over to me and seeing like, oh, look at Sheila's little child. I don't care about Sheila's little child. But it's the same thing as me checking up on my favorite TikTokers. You haven't even seen Sheila in like 20 years. Okay, bye. Trust me, or when you go to the pub, like, the second, okay, the second, you get in there, your dad is like, oh, hello, Brian, oh, hello, Samuel, like, he knows everyone in that pub, yeah, knows everyone in that pub, mm -hmm. even, like, the owner, and then, your little sister, or, like, your little cousin, whatever, your little demon child, it's like, oh, but can I get something from the little machines, with the little crappy toys in and you're like no i haven't got any money ask your mom well ask our mom and then look the tables are so sticky like do they not even wipe them and they stink like beer as well